Well, hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. Uh, this morning, uh, I am suffering from a little bit of ethnic guilt. Uh, this isn't really anything to do with the refugee crisis. It's to do with the, the uh, popular chain of Indian restaurants known as Masala. Uh, they have been charged with exploitation of their employees, uh, not Um, so, anyway, I, 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 um, sorry, I just got disturbing, distracting messages, um, saying that there was an error sharing this broadcast on Twitter. I'm not that worried about that. You're with me now. We're all together. Give me a virtual hug and we'll move on. Now... Yes, I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit guilty about this. Uh, this is a big story in New Zealand, obviously. I don't know how whether it's reached other shores yet, but because um, I've I've eaten the, the food from Masala, I, I've had some of that. Maybe some of that. I've even had some of that. That was pretty good, actually. And. Um, now I feel like I'm, 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 I've played a small part. It's like receiving stolen goods. I mean, you, just because you're not do, you don't know that that's what you're doing, doesn't make it right. You know what I'm saying? But the real issue there is, after looking at these pictures, I'm very hungry now. Now, Superhenge. They've discovered that there's like another Stonehenge. But it's even more amazing than the original one. Uh, bigger, better, probably not brighter, given that it's still under the ground. And given that it's still under the ground, uh, the only image that I was really able to dig up, that's sort of what it looks like. There's a lot of detail there. Don't know how, I'm, how impressed I am by the discovery of rocks under the ground, to be honest. I don't want to knock it. I don't want to be a rock knocker. I'm just saying, maybe once they've dug a bit more of it up, we get another... That will be slightly more impressive. Uh, QE2, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, tonight, our time. Tomorrow afternoon, your time in England. I'm sure plenty of you are watching from there. Why is it so blurry? That's a good question. It just seems to be the way either Periscope works or the way internet works in this building. I can assure you, you're better off seeing me blurred than you are in HD. Nobody, nobody should have to watch that. Anyway, uh, so the Queen, uh, yeah, she, she's going to be, they keep saying the longest reigning monarch. We've covered this in a previous broadcast. Previous broadcast. She won't be that much longer. She'll still be five foot three. They need to say that her reign will become the longest reign, but they keep getting that wrong. Anyway, get a grip, Glen ZB. Move on. Get past the grammar. And let's talk about the hairstyle. That's the queen early on. And quite early on, she went with the perm, the big perm. And we were discussing this off the air today uh, during the show uh, while wondering why she sort of stuck to that perm hairstyle. And I think the reason is, and it's quite obvious, you can see in this photo there, it's providing a certain amount of protection from the, the, the headwear. I think when you're queen, you've got to wear a lot of, there's a lot of precious metal work up there, a lot of jewels. And uh, as somebody who suffers from headphone hair, I sometimes wish that I had a little bit more insulation up there to protect me from those elements. I think that's what she's gone for. We're going to finish up here uh, with the disturbing news that New Zealanders are spending as much as 88 minutes a day, well, on average, playing games on their devices. I had no idea I was so below the quota. It's no wonder I'm not getting anywhere in my Minion Rush uh, special missions. I couldn't come close to finding the amount of maps and binoculars I needed to uh, in the small amount of time I was playing. I need to up, up my game. So I'm sorry, kids, but the next time you want me to drive you somewhere, I'm going to have to say, no, I need to meet the national average and spend a bit more time playing Minion Rush and a bit less time focusing on you. 
Uh, but don't worry, I'll never spend less time with you. Uh, although that is the end of today's episode of Glen ZB TV. I'll be back here again tomorrow. In the meantime, thank you for having me up your periscope. <laughs>